home decor idea for you today, string art bicycle. First switch the top view and orthographic projection. This will convert our workspace to canvas mode and make drawing more comfortable. Next select the sketch tool and start drawing wheels. For this choose circle sketch with 64 number of edges to make them look more smooth. In plane settings choose minimum step size and put the dot here. Then move on 3 here and click left mouse button. Congratulations, you have created your first wheel. Before creating another, unselect existing one, because if you don't do that, 3D Sketch tool will generate profiles inside this object, and we need them all separated. Now repeat the action starting from here and also unselect. Then we'll make the center part. Start drawing from the same position and move only on one cell now. Same inside the other world. To create a bicycle frame, choose plane sketch and draw the line like this. And of course, unselect after you are done and make another frame. Create a head tube, draw the line in such a way. And for the seat tube, like this. The seat we will draw like this and a stem. We draw one part upper than the other so it looks like two handlebars. Let's give our bicycle a basket. Unselect the profile and choose the spline sketch. Turn back to perspective projection and select everything with Ctrl A. Move everything up a bit. Next step is nail creation. For this, choose shape generator and set 64 to number of edges and 6 to top and bottom radius and 50 to height. Then create another segment with plus button and set the height to 5 and top radius to 12. Plus button again and now change the top radius to 8. Finish and choose shape generator again. Set the same number of edges, 64, but height 30 this time. Both radius also same, 6. Another segment will have 5 value as height and 12 as the top radius. Third segment was top radius 8. Move them over here to get them out of the way. It's time to finish the nails now. First choose the left wall and then the higher nail. In the tool section choose follow pass tool. Click the preview button and you can see how it all will look like. Set 20 to a number of copies and click apply. Then choose the central profile and use follow pass again but with 6 number of copies. Do the same moves with the right wall and in the central part. Now choose this profile and a smaller nail. For an approximate look choose 20 as number of copies. Some unneeded nails can be easily deleted, like here. Next move this nail here, next move nails here and also move other nails that you consider should have another position. Next profile is this and we are going to use follow pass also with the smaller nail. As you can see we have two nails in the same position, 
So we need to delete one of them and move another. For top tube, apply nine number of copies and fix nails position. Same simple moves to create a head tube. I will use seven copies in it and also fix nails amount and position. choose the seat profile and the bigger nail, this time with 7 numbers as well. Use both nails for the handlebars, choose the one with the bigger nails, 7 will be enough for both. Next part is the basket. Apply follow pass with well use routine. To finish this part of creation, choose this nail. We need the same one here. For this, choose copy offsets in the tool section and make a copy. Then, with the help of Move tool, change the X coordinate value to the opposite one. And we have a nail in the correct position. So, now delete nails that we created in the beginning. We don't need them anymore. We don't need profiles as well, so delete them all. With Ctrl A, select all bicycle parts. We need to make them look like one object. For this, use Merge tool. And make it smaller using Scale tool. Now switch the top view and autographic projection again, so we will draw the base for our bicycle. Show the objects and select the spline sketch with 5 value as high settings. Now simply draw the counter. Choose the perspective projection and move the base up a bit. Choose only nails and move them by 5 on Y axis, so they will be on the base, not inside. Make one solid object with Merge, Tool and Height. Let's create a stand for our string art model. Make a canvas from a workspace and activate the Freehand tool. This tool allows you to draw a sketch and make a 3D object from it afterwards. First in height settings set height to 100, then select line brush and in precision settings switch on minimum step size. That allows you to pin the cursor to the grid. Start drawing from here and then go here. Then draw something like this. Now move the cursor a little to the right and draw the same line a little higher. So we have the counter. Click Apply and switch to Perspective Projection. Rotate the object on 90 degrees on X axis and move to the center. Scale the object on 135 on Z. Perfect! Last thing I want to create is a self-cut logo on the stand. Use image to 3D and upload the logo. If you encounter the situation when the text is joined with the background, set 0.1 intolerance option. Set resolution to 250 and click flip background to cut the background, not the text. 
Now apply and rotate on 90 on Y. Use a line tool with drawing like a reference. Move the logo using bottom left settings in a line option. Close the panel and move the logo a little upper. Make it a bit smaller using scale with cap proportion option on. Set 100 CT to Z and 10 to X. Rotate on such angle. To make a solid object, select Drawing, Logo and apply Merge. Last thing we need to do is to connect the grid to objects, because the text is still separated from the stand. For this, use Magic Fix with tolerance 250. You may see the text loses its quality a little, but don't worry, it will look perfect after printing. Now on Hind All String Art model, and rename both objects. Move them a little. So that is what we have done. Thank you for watching. Bye!